but you have showed what you can do on a new team. And that means a lot. Allow me the comparison of the likes of Faker. He started out as the mechanical machine and then evolved into the leader he is today. With this in mind, I want to ask you, what are your future goals as a player moving forward? I mean, to be honest, I don't really know what I want to do right now. <laughs> I didn't plan on losing, so I didn't plan on like my future. Um, I don't know how much I have left. I'm not sure if I'm going to be competing next year or not. Maybe, maybe no, who knows? I have a lot of time to reflect, like you said, and uh, I'm just glad that, you know, I was able to help Heretics and help my teammates and hopefully they think good of me as well, right? And I had a lot of fun this year, so I'm grateful for being here and uh, yeah, just sucks that we couldn't make it further. And we're very grateful to have you, Jankos. Thank you. Well, that's sad. That's sad. Can you imagine Yankos retires? Uh, that sucks for... That sucks for the league. That sucks a lot. That sucks a lot. Hopefully he goes into casting or like full-time streaming or something like that. His stream is his stream is good. But yeah, I guess Jankos has a few options. I think uh, he has a really successful stream, so he could either go full-time streaming, he could go into co-streaming, he could go into casting, he could go into coaching, he could stay as a player for another year, he could go to NA, he could probably take a year break if he wants. He's been going for a long time. I don't know. He has loads of options. He could do what Brox is doing and stream and be on the LEC. I don't know. He could do a lot. He could do a lot. A lot of things. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, he has loads of options. I don't know. He has loads of options. But, uh... By the sounds of it, I wouldn't be super surprised if he takes time off or retires. I think he could give it another year, but uh, like, if you want my honest opinion, I think he probably, like, obviously I have no idea, but if I was Jankos at least, I would wait to see what Heretics does. If Heretics puts a lot of money into their roster and makes a super competitive roster, then maybe it's worth staying, because he is still fucking good. But if they don't put in, like, a lot of money and they keep a similar level of roster, what's the point, you know? Like, he's probably self-aware enough to be like, do I really want to sit here and grind out to try and make top four again when I don't have a roster that could win, like, a win, win a split, maybe? Or like a win, do something at Worlds. I feel like if he's a very, I feel like from my understanding of Yankos through the years, if he has like a competitive team, he would probably keep going, you know, he would probably keep going. But if he has like a mid-tier team, I don't think he is interested anymore.